Hey everybody, it's Dell and Carrie Spoonway here. Uh, we're the creators of From Seed to Spoon, and we wanted to take a minute to talk about the purpose of this channel and what we're doing here. So, um, it's probably best just to kind of tell a story of how this all started and, and kind of what it's led to and what we're doing now with it. So, this, uh, this whole project started for us back in 2016. At the end of the year, we, uh, we had just converted our entire backyard into gardens and a lot of our friends and family were reaching out and asking us like how they could do that as well. They wanted to start growing food and they had saw that they had seen the success that we had had. So um, that was really how this started. We started with a YouTube channel and a blog and we just started talking about how we grew food. And uh, we made a lot of videos that first year. And really everything we did was focus on sharing the knowledge that we had learned and showing, you know, how we were growing food in our backyard, which at the time was in a neighborhood, a one third acre kind of just backyard lot. Um, so, so that was how this channel started. And as we began to make more videos and blog posts, we were getting a lot of people asking, when do I plant this where I live? Um, and we were having to go through and like figure out where they were and then calculate dates for them. And it was a lot of a lot of work and, and we realized that there was an opportunity to build an app that could make that process easier so i i've been on a computer my entire life pretty much i've i was really into gaming as a kid and i ended up working at a software company as a as a tester and as a product manager so i'd been around software a lot enough to know that it could solve this this type of problem but i uh, i didn't know how to code so um I started learning how to code in 2017 and we built our app. So um, if you're not familiar with our app, our app is called From Seed to Spoon. It has growing information for over 100 different foods. It calculates planting dates for you, has companion planting information, pest information, everything that we've learned through growing food that's on our blog and our videos, everything is put into that app. So that app became our focus for well, I mean, it's still, well, we'll get, we'll get to that, but it became the focus of our life, um, aside from being good parents and, um, and husbands and wives and all that kind of <laughs> stuff, you know, um, the focus for us was, was on that app and, and we, our goal with that app was to make it to where anyone could grow food without really having to know much about, about how to grow food. So, uh, it would tell you when to plant and then it would guide you through planting. So, our our vision was to create something called Garden Plus, which which we which we created along with a couple friends of ours, and I'll get to that here in, in a moment too. Um, to make it easy for that to do that, to log your plants, to see when they're supposed to sprout, to do all that kind of stuff. So, so Garden Plus was really like the first iteration of our vision of solving this this goal that we had of of making it easier for people to grow food. And we released the test version of it uh, last year. It's it's out now. I just bumped the camera. Let me fix that. Uh, it's out now on uh, on iOS and Android and, and on the web as well. Um, and right after we released it, so this was this was last year, uh, is when COVID started. And that is when our lives took a uh, a big swift change. So uh, Carrie teaches nursing. Um, you can only imagine how chaotic that has been. Um, so her life got upended. Um, at the time I worked in, uh, as a software developer in the healthcare space. Um, so that was pretty chaotic. And, uh, on top of that, we, um, you know, we decided to homeschool our, our kids through this. So we, so anyway, um, the app ended up, uh, getting put to the side for a little bit. And I didn't really work on it uh, much at all, much of all last year once we got Garden Plus released. I was monitoring for bugs. I was reading your feedback coming in. I was making sure everything was working, but I knew that I didn't have the time to dedicate to really building out the rest of what we wanted to do. We have some friends that work on the app with us. Um, they've been doing stuff as well, but they, they need like, we need to all be working on it together for this to be successful. Um, so, um, I guess that kind of brings us to, to now and, um, well, I guess I missed a whole big point. So yeah. we also, during that process we moved. <laughs> yeah. So, um, right when we went on lockdown with COVID, 
Um, so we, we, I mean, we've always had this kind of dream of having a homestead, of having an acreage with animals and building a sustainable teaching farm. Uh, if you're familiar with Joel Salatin, I've read all of his books and I've watched every lecture he's given on YouTube and I've really wanted to do his style of growing for a long time, which is basically just using animals to build gardens for you. So you start with some goats and some sheep that go through and uh, get all the all the all the weeds and everything picked down and the grass down and then you, you move in pigs after that and they root everything up and chickens and they build a garden for you and you plant behind them so i've always i'm a pretty lazy gardener and i don't i like to automate as much as i can and that sounded like a great form of automation of gardens that would be built by these cute little animals so so that was our dream for a long time and when we went on lockdown for covid um we just decided to do it. It was, you know, we, we didn't know how long the lockdown was going to be. Um, I didn't want to be locked down in a neighborhood with barking dogs all around us. And I just, I needed some space. And, and honestly, the, um, the years that we spent working on the app, the three years that we dedicated our lives to it, like really zapped us. Like we were pretty burned out and <clears throat> we were pretty exhausted. And my, my, uh, blood pressure was really bad. And I was starting to get pretty severe uh, panic attacks again and stuff like that. So we put the brakes on the app basically and moved out here. Uh, so we have, we moved to a five acre uh, lot. We were, everything worked out amazing. We were able to get this place for cheaper than what we were paying for our house in the city. Um, our, we definitely, uh, we decided to, in order to, to save money and make it to where we could, you know, live like this comfortably, we went with, uh, with, with a house that was a mobile home. It's a nice mobile home, but, but still that's, that's been a first for us. Um, we had to, you know, downsize some of our, some of our other areas, but what, what we made up with that was been, I mean, you want to talk about how great it's been right here? I mean, oh gosh. I mean, it's an amazing, we have so many animals now. I mean, I've always wanted like every single animal there is <laughs> and now we have we have so many different animals i mean i'm sure you've seen on our instagram all of the ones so you may have noticed a start shift in <laughs> our instagram and our youtube around april of last year when we moved out here and basically what happened was i could not make videos about that app anymore i just had to get away from it i had You'd to take a break yeah but what i did do was follow cute animals around all day <laughs> and document their lives so our goal with that was to spread joy, basically. And that's been the goal of this channel all along. We started this for a couple of reasons. One, we wanted to give people gardening knowledge, make it easier for people to grow food. Two, we wanted to be a place on the internet you could go to where you knew that there was going to be something there that made you happy or smile or taught you something, but nothing negative. Nothing that ever made you sad or stressed out because there was enough of that on the internet. So we wanted our place on the internet to be something that was happy you know um i don't know just a place you could go to to zone out and consume content that you knew was not going to stress you out so so that brings us back to now and you may have seen recently that some of the coding stuff has picked up again and um so yeah i'm, I'm excited I'm, I'm excited to be coding on the app again um Patrick, Justin, and I are all are all working on it again now, and it's it's a lot of fun. Really, and we talk about what we're doing now. So, whenever we release Garden Plus, it works, but it's not an experience that I'm uh, that I feel comfortable having people pay for. There are some bugs in there. If you try and take a picture when you're on the edge of Wi-Fi, it'll it won't save. Um, there's just a number of things in there that I we weren't comfortable charging for, and I knew I didn't have the time to support issues that came up with people were paying for software and it's one thing if i'm giving an app away for free for there to be issues but if, if you're paying for it it needs to be a great experience and it wasn't quite where we wanted it to be yet and there was some pretty major uh architecture stuff we had to do and it's hard for me to explain how big that is but it's like rebuilding a house you got to change the foundation first you got to tear everything down change the foundation and then move it around it's a pretty big deal so there's a lot of that that we've been having to do. And once we're done, it's going to make it to where we're going to feel very confident making this a paid product. And we're also going to be able to add in a number of the features you've been asking for. So I see all the emails coming out. I'm not able to reply to them all, but I see, I read every single one of them. Like once a week, I go through and just, and just read them all. And I know the number one thing y'all want is the ability to add your own custom plant. 
Uh, I cannot believe I did not think about that whenever we first built this thing, but it was just kind of a roller coaster. So that got left out. That is going to be one of the first things we add in once we get this re-architecture complete. We've already, we've already talked about how we're going to do it. Patrick and, I, and Justin and I were, were on late last night talking about the details of how we're going to do it all and everything. So we've got it figured out how we're going to do that. The next thing you've asked about is um, the ability to map out your garden. That one is going to be tricky. So it is very complicated to build something like that. Um, I know because uh, when I was a product manager, I was in charge of an app that was used by appraisers to map out the, a house and calculate how much the house is worth and the square footage and all that kind of stuff. And it's hard. Uh, there's so much that goes into like making it to when you put your finger on the screen and move and it like draws a little box. And there's a lot going on there. And more than I can do, you know, with the 10 hours a week ish that I'm able to dedicate to this project on a good week. That's more than we can take on. And that needs to be something that we do once someone is working on this project full time. So we need to have a developer that is on this project all day, every day. This is their job. Um, right now, all of us have other jobs that take up, you know, 40 hours of our week building software for other stuff. And sometimes it's hard to switch back and forth between work projects and this project. And it gets sometimes you just need a break. So um, we need somebody that can be dedicated to this. We need to be able to hire somebody that is full-time dedicated as a developer on this project. Once we do that, then we can build the mapping. We can do the automated uh, reminders for planting, for watering. All of that stuff can be done as soon as we have someone full-time. Um, it could be done in a year or two with the pace we're at now with this part-time. So it'll get done eventually. Like I'm not... I'm not saying it has to have someone full time to get done, but in order to get done in the kind of time frame that we're all wanting, it we need someone full time. So, so our goal is to get Garden Plus out as a paid product uh, this year. We're working on getting all the all the bugs fixed and everything buttoned down where we're comfortable doing that. Um, should be in the next couple months. I feel like we're going to be at that point. And once it's a paid product, then it's up to y'all. If people sign up and we have enough money coming in to afford to, to hire someone then that's gonna be the first thing we do. We're not pocketing any of this money. Um, and to talk about where this money is going, you know, I mentioned that we're building a teaching farm. That's what we're doing out here right now. So the place we live now, this five acre lot that we bought last year, we're in the in the process of building a teaching farm. So everything that we're doing is within the the mind frame of having schools and, uh, and things like that come out once, once we're past COVID and everything's back to whatever normal is. So, so, Anything we make from this app is going towards that, towards building that teaching farm and hopefully getting it to eventually to the point where we could move out somewhere else. And then this is maintained and run by people that are paid to work here. And this is like a full time teaching farm open to any school in Oklahoma to come out and see how food is grown and how, you know, how everything works on a farm so they can learn how to be sustainable themselves. That is our overall goal with everything we're doing here with From Sea to Spoon. If we can... If we can do that, then we're going to feel like it's mission accomplished for us. And this has all been a success. Carrie, I've been talking a lot and you've been saying that. You want to say anything? I know <laughs> I you don't really listening. like to talk anyway. But is there anything you want to add to all this? Um, no, I mean, our, our goal is to teach kids to, I know, that we teach our kids to this way of life, trying to teach them how to grow food and take care of animals and all that. And we just want to spread it with everybody else too. Yeah. So we've been meaning to record a video like this for a while, um, just kind of updating you all on who we are, first of all, what we're doing, the purpose of this channel, why you see random coding stuff coming in. I want to talk a little bit about that too. So I'm teaching a course right now on our YouTube channel about how to learn how to code. So I learned how to code to build this app. It is not hard. I mean, it's, it takes time. It's hard, but it's not harder than you can do. It is something that is within the grasp of anyone that has spent some time on a computer. If you've worked Photoshop or done anything at all like that, this is something you can do. So this course is geared towards you if you're out there and you want to learn how to grow, how to grow code is what we're calling it, growing code. Um, check out that series on YouTube. Um, every Friday, there should be a new video coming out um, where we go through and build a small piece of an app. So there's a garden calculator app that we built last year that calculates how much vo uh, volume you need of soil in a raised bed. We are rebuilding that app and adding in some new features and talking about um, different coding concepts and teaching you how to code as we build that. So... Uh, check out that series if you want to learn how to code or if you know somebody that wants to learn how to code if you've got someone in your family that's talked about wanting to learn or something send them our way um 
you know, one of my other goals is to make it to where I'm able to help people uh, get into the type of career that I have because I got very lucky in that I had a lot of friends and people like that that helped me along the way. So um, we want to make it to where it's easy for other people that are interested in learning how to code to, to get into it. So in a nutshell, that is our channel. Moving forward, I think you're going to see a lot more gardening content again. Um, I'm really excited to grow this, this new way of growing. So our animals have been working over a large area for an entire year. It's pretty much all gardens now are ready to be gardens and we're ready to plant in there as soon as all this snow melts. So, uh, you're going to see a lot more gardening stuff coming. Uh, it's going to be different types of gardening though. I'm going to be growing more in the ground than I have in the past. More, I just going to be trying all sorts of stuff. I have space out here to go wild with experiments. So we're going to be doing all sorts of stuff like that out here. Um, we're also going to have a, more cute animal videos. I, I expect that to kind of continue because that's what I do when I'm stressed out. I just go follow my cute animals around and take videos of them. So, well, they're um, who I hang out with during the day, too. So, yeah, <laughs> and our, recording them and our so kids, cute. too. Our kids spend a lot of their time out there with them, and they're always getting videos of them, too. So, <laughs> expect to see more of that. We'll also be making more homesteading content because there's a lot of stuff we learn about how to just maintain a homestead. Like, last week our well froze up and we figured out how to how to thaw that out so like just little things like that that we learn we're gonna be sharing on here as well so that's who we are in a nutshell um i didn't mention where we're from we're in oklahoma city oklahoma so if um we're not used to getting the weather like this this is kind of a rare i don't know if you can see out the window but we got, we got snow <laughs> everywhere so we're actually in our rv right now because this is the quietest place on our farm <laughs> In the house, we've got kids and animals that talk to us a lot. And outside, we've got animals and kids that talk to us a lot. So um, I come into the RV for quiet time when I need to work. <laughs> so um, another great thing about having an acre is to be able to have like this out here with us instead of in storage. So I'll, I'll close the video with this. If you're on the fence about moving out to an acreage, uh, do it. It has been amazing. It's a lot of work. Don't get me wrong, but that work has been good for me because... I'm forced to get up out of bed every morning and come out here and take care of the animals. And if I'm having a day where I'm feeling depressed, I can't really just lay around. There's things I have to do. It keeps us active and, and outside. Yeah. And being forced to do stuff like that really helped pull me through last year whenever I was having a lot of troubles. So, um, so anyway, that's an update from us. I keep bumping this camera. I hope it's not super shaky for y'all. <laughs> Supposedly these new fancy iPhones like fix that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find so, out. All right. Well, expect a lot more videos coming out soon. We just wanted to kind of stop and reset and uh, explain who we are and talk about um, where we've been in a way and where we're going and, and all that. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if there's any questions that we didn't cover, if there's something you want to know more about, if there's uh, something you've emailed about that I didn't reply to, leave a comment here. I, then we get so many of those emails that I, I cannot keep up. I tried to keep up last year and that's part of why I went a little nuts. So I can't do that, um, but I will read them all like once a week, and um, I try and keep track of the most common questions and, and post videos for that. So if there's something that I didn't mention that you want to hear about or talk more about, uh, just leave a comment down in the video and I will address it. All right, well, I think did we cover everything. I think so. We did it? Okay, good. <laughs> all right, bye everyone. Thanks for watching.